Hi, I'm Mrs. Gray, and this is Walter. He is my own personal dog. Walter is five years old, and this past year, his birthday actually was on Thanksgiving, which was pretty exciting. So his official birthday is November 28, 2014. Walter is a golden retriever. He is a purebred golden retriever, and golden retrievers are very well known for how kind they are and how sweet they are. Walter is five years old, as I said. If you look at his face, he has started to go gray. And since our last name is Gray, we thought that was pretty funny that Walter Gray's face has turned gray too quickly. So, Walter is also a therapy dog, and I trained Walter to be a therapy dog. Therapy dogs are different than service dogs. Therapy dogs are there to make people feel better. So we travel to um, hospitals together to make people who are in hospitals feel better. Maybe Walter will give them a hug. We go to nursing homes where um, some of the residents can pet Walter if they're missing their own dog. And we also go to elementary schools. But today I'm gonna show you what it takes to take care of Walter. So, he is a total sweetheart. And um, I am gonna show you how we have to bathe him and brush him and um, take care of him just like you guys have to bathe and brush your hair and that kind of thing. Now I have a toothbrush here for Walter. And you can see that Walter really likes this toothpaste, which is pretty funny. And you'll see the difference between a person toothbrush and Walter's toothbrush. So it's a little bit longer and the head is a little bit bigger. Come back, Walter. Come here. Come. Good boy. Come around. And sit. So he starts licking his, the toothbrush and, he, and it's pretty funny. So this toothpaste is made especially for dogs and he is actually allowed to eat it since no one has been able to figure out how to get a dog to spit out the toothpaste. So you have toothbrush and toothpaste on it. I say cheese. And you can see he's licking it and licking it. Cheese. And I have to get all the way to the back of his of his teeth. And it's very important to brush his teeth often. I do it once a month. That way he doesn't get anything called plaque on his teeth and he doesn't have any dental issues. Because if he did have dental issues, it would, it would be uh, fairly complicated to have him fix those. Okay, so now he gets a reward and he knows that because he was very good sit, at brushing his teeth. I can give him dog biscuits or I can give him carrots. And carrots are his favorite. And they're very good for him. So before I give Walter a carrot, I'm gonna have him do a trick. Come, Walter, come sit. Good boy, shake. Good boy. And then he eats the carrot and that's his treat. Now I'm gonna clean Walter's ears. A lot of dogs, especially golden retrievers, get some ear infections because their ear falls over and it becomes a nice environment. It becomes warm in there. And so we have to make sure that the ears are clean. So I use an ear cleaner and I put it on a soft cotton and then I put it inside of his ear. And I do this every two weeks because we want to make sure that Walter doesn't have any dirt in his ears. And as you can see, it was pretty clean. I have another fresh one. I pour the liquid on it and I go into his right ear. And he doesn't like this as much as when he, we brush his teeth. Clean everything out. This one also looks good. And now he gets a treat. So he'll do another trick for you. Come, sit. Good boy, sit pretty. Very good. Sit. And now we're gonna brush him. I have three different brushes. I have a plastic brush. I have one that comes in a, in a U-shaped and this one actually has a special name. It's called the, the Furminator. So this takes out most of the hair for Walter. 
I have this soft one that I bring to the schools and the nursing homes so that other people can um, brush Walter. And I'll show you brushing his ears. There's nothing that came off of this. So this is more of like a pretend toy brush for Walter since his hair is so thick. I'm gonna now use the U one in the same area. And not much comes out either. Now I'm gonna use a Firminator. Yeah. And wait till you see how much comes out. All of that, all of that. And Walter, for some reason, likes to smell his own fur. I'm not exactly sure why. So we're gonna go ahead and brush him. I'm gentle around his ears. On his head. Okay, so we're gonna continue brushing Walter. Walter a shower. 
Now that Walter's eyes are clean and his teeth are clean and his ears are clean and he's been brushed, he's all ready for the bath. Normally I do this outside because he loves to shake and uh, run around and it's just, it's much easier. But again, it's super cold today, it snowed, as you know. So I'm gonna try to give him a bath for the very first time in a bathtub. So you and I will do this together and see how he does. Walter, hop up. Hop. Oh, he doesn't want to go. What do I do? Go, Walter. Nice. Good boy. So I put some warm water in the bathtub with some suds. I'm going to take off his collar. And a little quick word about his collar is he has several IDs on it. He has his name and address and phone number. He has a dog license so that he is registered with our town. He has a tag to say that he has all of his vaccinations. And then he has a special tag that says that he's a therapy dog. So Walter's in the bath. I have a jug of water here. And I have special dog shampoo. So we're going to wet him all down. Space. He looks a little sad, so we're going to try and do this as fast as we can. We just have to make sure that all of the soap suds are out of it. Okay, so now we're going to try, put the drain down, I'm going to try to dry him off without getting completely wet and without getting this bathroom completely wet. You are going to see Hey, hey Walter. So it's a pretty messy bathroom. You are going to see him go crazy. What's wrong? What's wrong? So he gets incredibly excited. Good boy. What a good boy. Yes, now you're smiling. What a good boy. Down here. Good boy. There he goes. So he's trying off his ears and doing something with his paws. It looks like a funky kind of dance. It goes all over the all over the uh, carpet. Are right, we shaking again? Good boy. What a good boy you are. Would you like to go down and eat? Walter knows the word eat. You want to eat? Let's go. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Walter, wait. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to open up the door. Wait. I'm putting the food in his outside bowl. Wait. Okay. And now he is going to eat that food so fast. He doesn't even breathe. Now I can take the bowl away from him, which is a great sign that shows that he's not aggressive, that he's okay if someone takes away his food. But I'm going to let him enjoy that. The water's done. It only took about 10 seconds. And now he's asking to come back in. And he scratches the door and he wants to come back in. Now he's checking out. Oh, I left the lid on. So if I wasn't here, gone ahead and eaten. Yeah. Hey Walter, come. You want to give me a hug? Come. Okay, so this is Walter giving me a hug. He loves to give hugs. That's actually his favorite thing to do. So he's pretty close to me. And uh, oh, shaking again. Good boy. You want to talk? Go. No, no. He's silly. He's, oh, yeah. he's so happy. He's so happy. 
if you can see, he actually is holding the bow with his hand, with his boss, with one of his hands. And he is loving this bow. Sometimes he'll actually roll on the bone and use it as a back scratcher, but right now he's just super excited about chewing on that bone. Oh, there he goes. So now he's rolling on it. He's using the bone as like a back scratcher. And he does that with a lot of things. He can do that with his with a tennis ball or anything else. So that's it for now.